thank you very much uh, for those questions. Um, the, the media is a very important uh, stakeholder uh, in our work because um, we are able to communicate uh, through the media, uh, to communicate with Africans um, the work that we are doing, and we are able to disseminate uh, information about the work that we are doing uh, through the media. And thus far, we have been working with the African Union, of course, who have uh, arranged uh, this session uh, as an organ of the African Union. We have been working together uh, from time to time to ensure that we have these press uh, briefings so that we can disseminate information uh, to uh, the whole of the African continent. Uh, the Secretariat is available uh, at all times uh, at your disposal as uh, the media uh, for information briefings, um, uh, to obtain uh, information from us. Um, in my capacity, I provide interviews uh, to uh, uh, media outlets across the African continent to give an update of the work uh, that we are doing. And so um, we, we, are a, we are at the disposal of um, our partners in, in the media uh, for the purpose of uh, disseminating information. Now, in respect of um, movement of persons, the, the protocol on the movement of persons is not part of the AFCFTA. It is a standalone uh, protocol. It is a standalone uh, instrument which has not yet entered into force. So it is not yet legally binding um, as, as an instrument. I do, of course, uh, take the point, the underlying point that uh, 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 Jean-Pierre um, is asking. And, um, or, and, and all I would say is that we can only do what the agreement enables us to do, what the AFCFTA, which is law, binding law, what it enables us to do. We are not able to move beyond what the agreement uh, has provided. The agreement does not make provision for free movement of persons. The agreement, however, does make provision uh, for the movement of business persons and that negotiation of identifying the categories um, of the movement of business persons um, is the subject of negotiations in the context of uh, trade in services. So um, we are enabling movement of business persons uh, in the context of what the agreement provides for, of what the agreement allows. Um, we don't have the legal authority to move beyond that. Um, the ability or, or, or the, 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 if we wanted to have free movement of persons, that is entirely up to the member states of the African Union. It is not the African Union as an institution. It is the member states uh, themselves who can decide at what point um, they want to, to ratify the protocol on the movement of persons. I think it's very important to, 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 to be very clear about this. It is not the AFCFTA secretariat it is not the African Union Commission. It is the member states of the African Union themselves who can actually decide the point at which we have full um, free movement of persons across the African continent. But as I've said, to the extent that the AFCFTA, the agreement establishing the AFCFTA, to the extent that it, it allows uh, movement of business persons, we are facilitating that in accordance um, with uh, uh, the law itself. Similarly, on the issue of the Pan-African passport, it is not part of our work. Um, we have a very narrow mandate, and that is trade. Um, our mandate comes from uh, the agreement establishing the AFCFTA. Unfortunately, on some of these things, we are not in a position um, to do things beyond what the, what the law enables us uh, to do. We have to subject ourselves to the rule of law 
And in this case, the law is the AFCFTA, and it does not permit us to move beyond um, uh, and introduce measures for the movement of uh, 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 free movement of persons. That is for the member states, not for the AFCFTA secretariat. Um, now on infrastructure, absolutely it is correct that we have to have uh, complementary policies and complementary measures because you do need infrastructure, whether it is ro roads, whether it is ports, um, you do need infrastructure to facilitate um, trade and to enhance uh, trade uh, on the African continent. Um, we, of course, will work together with uh, African multilateral development finance institution, uh, institutions to leverage on the policy complementarity between the work that we do, the mandate that we have, and also from a development finance uh, perspective, their mandates and the work that they do on infrastructure development. I think we have to be uh, conscious of the fact that we have, uh, um, we do not have an unlimited mandate to do everything. Um, the agreement is very clear about what it is that we as a secretariat can do under the AFCFTA, and we have to stick within the mandate uh, that we have. But uh, it is obviously, um, it is trite that there are complementarities between trade and infrastructure development. And in order for us to double intra-Africa trade by uh, the year 2035 or sooner, if we can, infrastructure is a critical part of that. And that is why I say we will work together with um, the development finance institutions on the African continent. Thank you.